hey guys welcome back to another video if you're an international nurse you're planning to become an international nurse you're a registered nurse you're located anywhere in the world and you want to relocate to any of the top three countries which one is us this video is for you welcome to empowered rn over here on this platform i teach you and give you guys advice on how to make your transition much easier expose you to different things that are happening also and to give you the knowledge and the power to make informed decisions so that you can succeed as an international nurse if you like the content that i am producing and you want to know more like share and subscribe down below in today's video as the name suggests we're going to talk about depression has anybody talked about it before? Depression and international nurses or nurses generally overall. That's the video that we're going to talk into and we're going to jump into it right now. So we're going to talk about depression. And I've heard this a lot of times of nurses who have endured and experienced depression once they migrate and go to a different country. And it happens. Now I'm here to tell you that depression does not have a particular look. It does not have a particular color. It does not have a particular profession of who, of who it affects. Depression happens to everybody and it can creep up on you like a thief in the night without you being aware of yourself and knowing that I'm actually going through depression. Now, a lot of people may say, why do international nurses or nurses overall may endure depression? I don't know if you do not know to take up a step of moving to a different country and not knowing where to go and starting over and especially if you're doing it on your own can be a very hard process and it takes grit strength and resilience to do anything like that now a lot of persons talk about whether you're a nurse or not and you move to a different country many persons experience depression depression can come in the form of stress it can come in the form of anxieties not having a work-life balance not having a proper job not being able to meet your finances. And I think for us as nurses, we a lot. We may go through this a lot, especially if you're leaving from back home and expecting a certain view of how things may be. And when you get here, you realize like it's totally different. Now, another area that many of us may see depression in the form of and why this may happen is that many of us may will leave at a certain level and realize that when we get here, we have to start over back. When we get here, yes, you can make the money, but then you realize bills are coming out. You have family obligation. You realize maneuvering in a system and not knowing it and not having anybody to hold your hand can also cause you to go into depression. And especially, let's not talk about when friends and families may fail you. Now, many of us as an international nurses, you may face depression in the form of coming into a new space, working, and realizing that you have a change in your job, your shifts are different, you're no longer working that eight to four or that seven to three where you go to work, serve your medication, do your assessments, and you know by 12 o'clock it's lunchtime and two o'clock, yeah, getting ready to go. Over here you do 12 hour shifts and you do them back to back. And then at the same time, you have to be working more hours so that you can contribute and make sure that you have a financial stability, especially when many of us come here as international nurses and you know that you are the only party working in your family and your partner or your spouse may not be able to pick up a second job at the time. Now, it can really get depressing and stressful if you continue to work, work, work. And that's the saying that when we come here, work, work, work. And many a time, it does not, it's not a matter of you just keep working, working, working. Sometimes you don't have any control over it. This is how you have to survive. But what can I do so that depression does not affect me? I remember when I started when I was here doing my process and I just realized that all I'm doing, I'm just working. And this is just an example. Then I said to myself, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not socializing. I need to find places and persons who can help me so that I can have a good work-life balance and also to socialize. And that's where I realized that I was sort of or somewhat heading to depression, not really full depression, but realizing that there was a change in my work status and I need to find a balance. Now, these are some four points that I'm going to give you guys that can help you to prevent depression. 
how can you prevent depression? The first thing that I'm going to talk about is creating a balance. You have to have a balance. You cannot just be working, working, working every day. And even if you have to work, you must have a day off. What do you do on your days off? Plan that when you have your day off. I know for some persons, if they know that they have a day off from the, if they know that they have a day off, right, that is coming up the night before that day off, they make sure to get as much things done, start preparation, cleaning, and just take the day off to sleep and to find stuff to do that can keep them occupied. Now, you have to do what works for you. So my example might be different from you. So creating a balance is make sure that you have a proper work-life balance and structure. And yes, it can be different when you're working here because for me, sometimes I don't see that balance. But you can create the balance that you want. So creating a work-life balance to know that on your days off, days off, what I'm going to do and the things that I'm not going to do. I know for some people, they say, I'm a day off, I'm going to do everything that I could not get done. And then you end up going back to work tired. That's a no-no, but sometimes we have no control over it. So creating a work-life balance is planning out your schedule, making sure that you have adequate time to rest, to regroup, and to rejuvenate. How else can you create that work-life balance is to know your purpose. Know your purpose and the things that you like to do. What do you enjoy to do? I am big on purpose and telling nurses to step out of their comfort zone, form a business, whether you like to travel, hop in your car, drive to a different state. It's free. Yes, can be cheap. Also, drive to a different state with your family, do site viewing, find the different museums that are located all throughout the area. Next to that, just go online and see different Facebook groups. I know sometimes you may not be able to find the different um, social activities that we may have, especially back home in the Caribbean. Now, the next thing that I can tell you that you can do to find these um, social spaces is to find a Facebook group. Facebook groups with the area that you're living in. Say, for instance, if you're in New York, New York activities. I don't need to do it like that, but it's on Facebook where you can find all the social activities that are taking place within your area. And if it is something that you like to do, you can just um, put it on your calendar and you sign up and take yourself or your family with you. The next thing apart from balance is to have network. You guys need to learn to network. You're in a different space. You're new, but it takes nothing out of you to network. How do you network? Find your purpose, as I said before, the things and the places that you enjoy. You're a nurse. Find nursing conferences online that you can attend to take your mind from work. Find other stuff that you like to go into. I do that a lot on social media. How do you network? And I'm here to tell you, I'm going to put it up here. Each of you guys need to have a LinkedIn profile and that will help you to network and find persons who are in the profession that are similar to you, especially if you have a plan for your career in terms of, more, of where you want to go. Look for the persons who are in that job already and follow them on social media. Find the places that these people occupy. You're not going to start them now. Find the places that these individuals occupy, attend the conferences, expose yourself to different knowledges and different arenas or different professions that are out there. I recently found a summit online and I attended that summit free of cost by just reaching out to the organizers when they were giving away a free ticket. And it was a nurse boss summit and I shared that on my Instagram page and that summit was showcasing nurses how to run their own businesses. And these are things that you can do outside of of your work environment. We talked about purpose, we talked about networking, and I gave you the tools of how you can network. Opening a LinkedIn page, putting up your profile, saying that you're a registered nurse, and following the uh, people that you want to be like or persons that you want to be around and go to the spaces that these individuals are going to. And I'm sure you'll find, and also when you open up a profile on LinkedIn, you also have the ability to search for jobs if you're looking for part-time or full-time jobs on LinkedIn and you need that. And that is how you can network. You can also improve on your social activities and prevent depression, not only through finding your purpose or networking, but also finding a church. 
Now we know a church is important for your spiritual development and finding peace and your spirituality is important in connecting with God and helps you with depression. But you can also be in God and suffer from depression. All right. It's your faith that determines how strong you are, especially when you're in a new space. Now, a church is very important, not only for your spirituality. You can also network through the church. For me, when I was coming here, my first go to in finding a proper location was to make sure wherever I was living, I had a church that I attended from back home that was near to me. And that was one of my deciding factors. And I found that. When you go to the church, you're going to meet different persons who work in different professions again. Once again, network. Persons are going to hear that you're from such and such a country. You're going to meet other people from your country and they will help you and support you without you even asking. Now, I can share a story with that. I remember I went to a particular church and I didn't even have to walk around and tell people, oh, I'm a Jamaican. People came up to me. This lady came up to me and she just, we were there talking and I explained where I'm from and where I worked. And she said, she introduced herself to me, but she didn't specify what she did. She just then said to me, anything you want, let me know. Now, a couple of days after I went back to work and while I was on my system, I was just reading some of the news that the hospital system has. And there on the system, I saw the lady as one of the head of department. I don't saw me any regular head of department, you know. She was in a picture with one of the, like, probably CEO. And I was like, isn't this the lady that I met at church the other day? And you remember what she said to me? So this is the importance of finding a church, finding social spaces like that. And this can help with your depression and it can help you to network. And it also helps to prevent you from going into that difficult space of being depressed. So church, finding your purpose and finding a balance can help you. And these are very important. And you guys, you have to network. And the reason why I am big on networking is that some of us, when we come here, we are off the view that, oh, I want to be by myself. I don't want to be near anybody. If some persons are like that, I don't want to be around anybody that's from my country. I want to be here. Let me tell you this. If you want to go fast, go by yourself. And if you want to go faster, you go together. I can tell you that many of the opportunities that I got here in terms of job, in terms of knowing what was happening, say for instance, I was not at work and I heard what this was happening. It was from a group that I was a part of. It was from being a part like of WhatsApp groups with persons, say for instance, I'm from Jamaica, we have a, a Jamaican WhatsApp group where we share information. And that is how I landed some opportunities that I received here. I know people may be different, but when you network, it helps. And if you want to go fast, as I say, find groups and social spaces, connect with people on your units, talk to people. That's another place that you can find activities also. And this can help you also in terms of building your social space. Remember, you're coming from a new country. You're coming from your country and you're in a new country. It will be hard to maneuver around. And you want to know the different places that you can go to get opportunities and the different places that you can go just to keep your mind at ease. And this comes by finding a purpose. It comes by networking, finding a church, and also connecting with persons whether on your unit or outside and just knowing the things that are happening within your community. Now, we talked about depression, and I said depression can be serious, and it will creep up on you without knowing. When you can do things like these, it keeps you occupied and active. And I cannot forget not to speak on the impact of the church. When you join a church also, you can become a part of different societies in the club, different leadership activities. And you also can, if you have a family, you can bring your children in the church and help them to grow in the church also. Now, these are very important because I've seen a lot of persons talk about it and the experience that they have with this. And I must say that it's something that we have to take very serious because it is also a mental health condition classified under, I think it's a DMS-5, we're not going to go in that right now, of mental health disorder, which is depression. Now, if you like the content that I have just produced a while ago and you want to know more and you like what you see, please press the like button and subscribe. 
how do you feel about depression? How do you feel about navigating a new space? Do you think that these points that I've listed below can help you? You can drop them in the comment section below and let us have a discussion about it. And if you know of any other thing or any other important stuff that we can do to help to delay and prevent depression in our nurses and any other profession and want to come to a country as an immigrant, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you.